Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I've got a comparison video today showing you my ink dusters um, and how they compare with the ink blending tools. Um, so I'm using uh, my current favourite love, which is this amazing uh, cloud stencil that my favourite things brought out uh, recently. I know it's in high demand um, and I shared some pictures on my uh, Instagram recently and blog or some cards, in fact the cards I made during this session. So um, I've got myself just some plain white card, it's a nice thick smooth card um, and there's an ink duster so it's double ended um, and you're supposed to brush it on your hand um, to get rid of some of the little, um, the little uh, bristles uh, if they're loose. Um, so I'm starting off with just some tumble glass distress ink and the ink blender which is what I would do before um, I'd, I bought my uh, ink nesting tools, the only thing I had to blend with. Or occasionally I used the little daubers um, as well. Um, but uh, isn't that stencil great? So I love it. It's got four sides. You can make your clouds totally different. Um, so there I am. So doing what I normally do with my ink blender is in a kind of a circular motion dabbing into the ink pad, dabbing it on my um, glass mat, and then going in and blending. Um, and uh, yeah, so a bit more speeded up, otherwise we'll be here forever. Um, but um, it, it works fine, it works fine. Um, but um, sometimes it can be a bit harsh. I, I can sort of struggle sometimes to get the, the lines um, blended smoothly uh, together. I don't quite know why I did that. There might have been some bits off the um, the pad. I know uh, a few people have said that the newer pads that they've bought um, haven't been as good um, as old ones. And this this hasn't been, it was fairly well seasoned. I used that bit of masking tape for a different colour of Distress Ink for another project. And that's why the top's gone purple. So as you can see, um, it, it looks fine. You can tell they're clouds. But if you try the same thing, with the ink dusters. So you get a bit of paper with lots of instructions on how to use these ink dusters. And what you've got to do is it says you've got to dip, dab, and then dust. So you dip it in the ink, you dab it off on your mat, and then you dust. And you can see straight off that it's not, um, it's not laying down as much ink. And when I remove the stencil, it gives a really nice light and soft um, outline of the cloud. So just moving it round. So again, dip, dab and dust. So you can use these things with paint as well. There's a company that bring that um, makes them Inkylicious, they do quite a lot of um, mixed media and chipboard and things like that as well. So you can use them. And I'm, I'm interested, I might try them with that as well. Um, I like that they're double ended. They're quite light. And I'm still not sure if I've got the action right or if it's quite how I'm supposed to do it. But, uh, you know, I'm having fun. So there again, it's a lot lighter than the ink blending tools. So again, I've speeded it up. So I'm, I'm very much, I'm getting used to them. But I really do like the fact that it leaves um, quite a light layer of ink down. So you get a much softer look. So you have to build up the layers a bit more. So we maybe have to do a bit more work on the blending. But it all depends on the look. So like most things that I seem to buy these days, it doesn't mean that I'm going to get rid of my ink blending tools. <laughs> it just gives me something else to try and something else to use. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I love them. So I don't know how they compare to the clarity brushes because I haven't got any clarity brushes. I may very well get clarity brushes um, and try them out as well. And I know um, people who have them really like them. I think because the, the brush, it's very much more pointed. So here you are for comparison. The one on the left is the ink duster and the one on the right, the blending tool. So you can see the difference quite clearly. So you'll find some more pictures on my blog. Thank you very much for coming by today. I hope this has been helpful. 
would love to have you as a subscriber just click on my cheery face